So welcome to the Thailand late night lads chat. Take a seat, these are gonna be quick, concise, and straight to the point. While I'm out here in Thailand, I just wanna give you, because obviously I just wanna enjoy my holiday, bro. I don't wanna think too much about business, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you gotta maintain it. So I still wanna give some value to you boys. I don't wanna just forget about you, all right? So these are gonna be quick, concise, and straight to the point. So we're gonna be talking about how you can be attractive to women. And I'm not talking about your jawline, or your fucking height, or your dick size, nothing like that. It's gonna be things that you can control, character traits, mindset, qualities, that kind of thing, right? And the first one is competence. And this simply just means being good at things, being able to do stuff, having life experience, having an understanding of how the world works. This is a very attractive trait because it makes them feel safe. It makes them feel like they can rely on you. They're not gonna be disappointed by you. You can do shit, you can look after them. You can take care of yourself and the people around you. An example is this, something as small as this, right? My girl just earlier today, it's currently three in the morning on a Monday in Bangkok. It's the only time the city sleeps, so I just listen to that. Peaceful. It's nice to have a bit of silence. Every, usually there's constructions, there's fucking drills, there's motorbikes, there's crazy shit. You know they have motorbike taxis here? They you have taxis that you can ride on the back of a fucking motorbike and it costs me like two pound in the UK. It's fucking wild. This country's mad, bro. I highly recommend if any of you boys are young and wild and free, bro, get yourself to Thailand, lad. You're gonna live like a king. It's unbelievable. So, competence is number one. My girl came running over to me earlier today with a little hot sauce jar in her hand or something like, hey, come and open it, please. Her dad tried to open it, couldn't do it. She tried to open it, couldn't do it. So she brought it over to me. Bam, first try, easy, bruv. And I seen the look in her eyes when she saw me do something as simple as open a jar for her when no one else could do it. It, it, it's like they fall deeper in love with you when you are competent at things, when you can do things. Now this doesn't mean you have to be fucking James Bond and be perfect and be a fucking, you know, pro shooter or nothing like that. Just day to day normal stuff, just understand the way the world works. You know, learn how to lift weights properly. Learn how to drive, learn how to ride a motorbike, learn how to open jars, get strong. Learn how to speak articulately. Learn about the world, be intelligent, educate yourself, have a good vocabulary. Learn about the history of the, the places that you're in, the culture of the places that you're in. Just being an intelligent and competent individual like that will skyrocket your attractiveness with women. Because it's very embarrassing now seeing fully grown men walking around with no intelligence, no competence, they don't know how to do anything. You panic in situations. You fully go, what the fuck are you panicking about? Have some self-belief, right? So the simple way that you can improve your competence is by just getting yourself out there. Stop being so scared of the world. There's too many pale, skinny slash fat men just sat in the bedrooms all day, like incels watching YouTube, watching Andrew Tate all day. Like, bruv, that's great. But when are you gonna actually do something about it? When are you gonna become the guy that people look up to? Get out there, go and make some mistakes. Have some experiences. You know, have some near-death experiences. Go and try new things you've never tried before. Try some new food you've never tried before. Meet new people. Put yourself out of your comfort zone. Do things that scare you, etc. Just do shit. Stop being so scared. Everything in life is to be experienced, both positive and negative. It's all an experience. It's stories to tell. It's growth to be had. Just keep that in mind. That is how you get good at stuff. It's as simple as riding a bike. You just do it more. Do more things. Become better. Have an understanding of the world. You are then more competent. Women love that. It makes them feel safe. It's just attractive. Just, you know you're the man that just knows how to do shit. It's just attractive. Number two is ambition. Now, I was on a coaching call not too long ago with a good friend of mine. We spoke multiple times before and he mentioned how he doesn't feel attractive to women unless he has an abundance of money, unless he's a millionaire, unless he has a Bugatti, unless he has this, unless he has that. All external materialistic things. And he said, I just don't believe I can be attractive unless I have these things. And I simply said to him, it's not about the external. It's about the character. It's about who you are internally that's attractive. Women don't look at Andrew Tate and think, oh, he's got a Bugatti, so I may as well fuck him. It's the character that they're attracted to. It's the ambition, it's the drive, it's the ability to get things done and it's the ability to actually strive for better in life, to provide a good life for you 
and the people around you, that's what's attractive. So even if you are dead broke right now watching this video, you're sat at home, maybe living with your parents, in your dusty bedroom, and you think, oh, well, no girl's gonna like me because I don't have a Bugatti and a million dollars in the bank. <sighs> Promise you right now, I'm talking from experience here. How many times have I told you boys? If you just have a bit of ambition, if you believe in yourself, if you have some goals that you're striving towards, you are attractive because women will look at you and think, he's a good bet. You know, I know if I'm with him, at some point, he's gonna be able to provide a very, very good life for me. He's got ambition, he's got something about it, he's got energy, he's got motivation, he wants to do things with his life, he wants to get up and go, he doesn't wanna just sit around lazing around like a bum. You don't need a million dollars, you need ambition, you need focus. And you need to want better for yourself. That's attractive. Because again, it makes them feel safe. It makes them feel secure. It makes them feel like you are the kind of man that can provide them with that life. Even if you're not currently there yet. It's the character that's attractive. So just keep that in mind. Number three is unpredictability. Just being fun. Changing things up. Being a bit spontaneous. I hate guys go on night outs and say things like, well, I've got to go home now, guys, because I've got to go to bed. My bedtime's at 9pm and... I'm on self-improvement, so I'm going to get up. But fair enough, nothing wrong with that. But don't come complaining to me when your girl says you're boring. And when your girl leaves you and cheats on you with someone like me, who's fun. I'm not saying this to be arrogant or to be big-headed, but it's true, right? Girls just want to have fun. And if you're too militant in terms of your routine and in terms of the things that you do in your life, it's not fun. It's very predictable, it's very boring, it's very, it very removes any sexual tension. It's not attractive. And it's counterintuitive because as men, the one thing that works for us in any other area of life, business, making money, making friends, building a good body, building strength, building muscle, etc., etc., is routine, is consistency, is predictability, is doing the same thing over and over again. That's how we become successful in every single other area of our lives, other than with women. That's why it's so counterintuitive for most men to hear this advice. You must be unpredictable, you must be spontaneous, you must have the ability to just do crazy shit, man. You know, I was drunk the other day, and I don't recommend you do this, it's not safe, obviously, and I probably would have still done it sober, maybe, if I was, if I was hyped enough and had the right energy. I'm not preaching you do stupid shit like this, but it's the mindset behind it that I do preach. Okay, I was the other day I was drunk, and I was in the back of the car, with um, my girl and her friends. And I was looking out the window and the windows rolled down. I looked at my girl and said, do you reckon I could hang out the window? Do you reckon I, I would survive? And she's like, yeah, but just please don't do it. And I looked at her and I said, I'm fucking invincible. Just hung out the window as it was drifting around the corner. Literally sat on the window, on the, on the window fucking sill thingy of the car, hanging out of it as it was drifting around the corner. Obviously, I don't recommend you do that. But just having that unpredictability, that funness about you, Makes you fun, makes it exciting, keeps it unpredictable. She doesn't know what to expect. It's the same in and out of the bedroom. Same thing in the bedroom. Most guys get into this routine and they do the same thing over and over again because it worked that one time. So they just keep doing it. And I highly recommend you adopt the mindset of just not only enjoying your life, just being a bit crazy and just trying new things and just doing different shit. Because why wouldn't you? You only live once, you may as well. But also for the sake of your attractiveness as well, just having that crazy, wild, fun, unpredictable side to yourself is very, very good, very beneficial for you. So just keep that in mind. Open yourself up to these possibilities. Take this as you will. And uh, the coaching's down below if you want to learn more from myself on a personal level. The video course is also down below. And the Telegram too, if you'd like to get personal messages sent to your phone. So check that out in the description and the comment section. It's getting late now, bro. You can tell by the speech. It's fucking up. To be fair, it looks like it's about to get light. It's only three in the morning. But still, look after yourself, and I'll see you soon.